Hello guys, this is Trenny Green and today I'm showing you how to download Scratch projects uh, as HTML files. So basically, um, we go to this website called forkforce.github.io slash packager and then I'll put the link in the description so you can easily find it. And then uh, this web page should come up. It says the HTML packager. So it should come out like this. So you need to get your scratch project that you want to download as a HTML file. And then you copy the ID, which is this bit of numbers after uh, the main URL, which is scratch.mit.edu slash project. So it's the group of numbers. Control C, or just copy it like this. And then go back to this, forkforce.github. And then we enter it here and you can also upload a project but it's easier to just get one that's already um, on the scratch website so once we've put the ID in here we, you can choose if you want turbo mode but normally you wouldn't want that but yeah and then there's uh, the value of the username block so it's just in the HTML file uh, what username it thinks you are so you can put your own username if you want it doesn't really matter auto place so when you open up the html file will it play um or will it not play so on i'll just put it on yes it will play frame rate just keep as normal sprite fencing it doesn't really matter that much cloud variable you don't really need that loading screen options you can do loading screen text so usually i just do loading like that that should be the text but you can do whatever you want like loading epic scratch projects or something like that and then you can do environment options so we want to do html because that's what you clicked on the video for and then we can package project so it will do some loading things creating the project and now we have a project so you can name it whatever you want so i'm going to name it um epic scratch project like so it's going to download usually it will automatically download to your downloads so yeah and then we can click on it and then look we've got it as a html file and then we've got the intro blah 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 and then we can play the game Sometimes the audio is a bit glitchy, so you might have to reload. But yeah, that's how you uh, convert your Scratch projects to um, HTML really easily. So I'll put this link in the description, and you can easily do it yourself. Goodbye for now, and I'll see you next time.